Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1752. Check if array is sorted and rotated. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode and when I solve it in JavaScript. For this prompt, we are giving a function that takes in nums. Nums is an array of integers. And we want to return true if the array was originally sorted in non-decreasing order, then rotated some number of persistence, including zero. Otherwise, we return false. And then the ca catch here, we have duplicates that made it more tougher. And here is an example to clearly understand. So here's the array of numbers. And we return true because it goes in order one, from increasing. And it, we know that it's been rotated here. And it rotates by three persistence. And then here, it's impossible to make this sorted and rotated. And here is well, uh, here is true. So that's the general idea. And I th at first I thought it was an easy problem, but it's pretty tricky to get a, a, a very efficient answer, especially the duplicates part. And there's one clever way of solving this problem that uses math, uses mod that we'll talk about today. So how we're gonna do is we're gonna create a count variable. And this is gonna create, keep count how many times it goes out of order. So we know that it goes out of order once, it's been rotated here. Uh, so it can only do it once. If it's more than once, we know that it's impossible to get this to be uh, to the answer with, with the nums we have originally. So that's the purpose of count. And next thing we we'll need to do is gonna loop through nums. And when we loop through it, we're gonna compare compare this current one with the next one. Condition if current value is greater than the next value. And then there's one caveat to this that makes it a little tricky with the math, but we have to mod length of nums. So the only thing part of this mod length of nums is because when we get to the last part, when we get to the last one, we have to compare it to the first one. And once we get to the last part, it's, this has a length of five. And then so we, um, five mod five is zero, which means that we look at back at the first part. But if we're just looking at the next one, example here, it's still going to look at the next index of how I would look at it. And once we look at the code, it'll hopefully make more sense. And then if this happens, we increment count. And then if we if count is greater than one, return false. Return false. And then lastly, if we make it through with only one count increment or no count increments, we just return true. Okay, so first we create the count variable that count starts off at zero. And then for let i equals zero, i is less than nums.length i plus plus. And inside of it, we check the condition. If nums index of i is greater than nums index of i, also mod nums dot length. And then once we go through it, I'll explain that again. Count plus plus. Oh, sorry. This, we have to look at the next one. So let me put this in parentheses. And then if count is greater than one, we know it's impossible to so return false. And if we make it through this loop, loop without returning false, we return true. Great. Great, we got it. So just one more time. When, 
when we're looking at this this part, so for example, when we loop through here, we look at the index zero. And then, so we're gonna compare it to this one. So this is gonna to get to this one, the index one. One mod norm's length is five is still gonna be one. And then here two mod five is gonna be two. It's only until we get to the last one, five mod five. And then we get to the index of zero. So here, uh, so once we get to the last one, two, okay, so, I plus one, I plus one. So zero, one, two, three, four, four plus one is five. Five mod five is zero. So it compares this index, zero, one, two, three, four, fourth index to the first index. So hopefully that clarifies. It's only used for the, the last one. And then the time complexity, We know that we're doing a loop through the nums. So it's gonna be O of N. And then the space complexity, we are creating a constant variable here. So it's gonna be O of one. And that's it. That's how you solve this problem. Thank you.